You may imagine you are in the business class of aircrafts, but actually, you are in the business class of the latest Chinese high-speed train. Morning. Welcome back to Alice Radio. You may hear from the news that a smart bullet train have been serving for Winter Olympics. That is true, but that magic train doesn't serve for public. Today, I will take you into one of the latest high-speed rail trains in China, and you can board on it whenever you want. Of course, you need a ticket. This brand new train departs from Beijing Chaoyang Station, the termini of Beijing Harbin High Speed Rail Line. The line connects Beijing, the capital of China, and Harbin, the second largest city in northeast China. Passengers can travel between these two big cities by bullet train within five hours. There is an exclusive access. As well as a lounge for business class. Unfortunately, I arrived a little bit late, so I was guided directly towards the boarding gate. Hope I can take you a visit in VIP lounge next time. Here it is, the newest Chinese high-speed train. Let's board on it. You may imagine you are in the business class of a Delta, ANA, or Qantas aircraft, but now you are on the bullet train. The seat for business class looks roomier and comfortable. Of course, the seat is adjustable. I will show you later. Power socket and USB charging socket are equipped. You can also use wireless charging on business seats. How about the effects? Check it later. A little reading light with two brightness choices is set here. Like business seats on planes. This seat can turn into a flat bed just by pressing a button. Seems not very sensitive. Okay, it's moving. Great. I can have a short snap and then close the door. I love this door. Now the space only belongs to myself. A screen is set in front of me. The virus projection should be cool, but I didn't use it because I worry about data privacy. The train is leaving Beijing Chaoyang Station now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to take this train. The next stop is Miyun Railway Station. Smoking is banned on this train. Thank you for your cooperation. Although this is a short journey, the waitress still gives me a bad vibe. A cup of mango juice and a bag of snacks. Juice is yummy. As for snacks, I just eat egg pie and take remaining snacks back home.
The train is not running at a higher speed. Yet I feel uncomfortable with my ears. Guess the air tightness of this train is not perfect. Now I arrive at Miyun Station, to the northeast of the center of Beijing. I will return back when I have finished work. Okay, back now. I will take bullet train again and get off at another station. This time, I have enough time to admire the head of the train. For this trip, I will take secondary class seats, in other words, economy class. Like most of economy classes, there are five seats in each row. And tables are equipped for each seat. Legroom distance is about 1000 cm between seats. But I can now stretch my feet under the seat in front of me. Economy seats only provide USB charging socket. But the charging performance is not good for smartphones in higher power. As the same as that in business class. It can only make my iPhone 12 Pro keep stable on battery power. All the seats can be reclined, but the armrests cannot. It will be a barrier when you kiss him or her. Washrooms are set in each car. Seems clean. In this section, I still feel uncomfortable with my ears. Okay, I arrive at Shenyi West Station, the destination of this trip. Since China has made great achievements on high-speed rails, but I hope they can focus more on details and they can improve passenger services internally. Here is the end of this video. If you like it, please leave a like. And if you would like to know more about Beijing, China, welcome to subscribe this channel. Thanks for your time. All the best. Yours Elliot. See you next time.